It's that time again, folks. The time of pure disappointment for the Hammerheads. At least, uh, you know, that's what history says anyway. And we have the LA Kings here. They finished 7-3-0. We finished 4-3-3. They had 50 wins on the season. Yeah. Um, it's it's going to be a tough matchup for sure. But we beat them last year when they won the President's Trophy. We can do it again. So, um, as I mentioned in the last video, Lysel not doing so good. Not doing so good. We don't really like him. So we, he's been he's been sent away to the Shadow Realm. And by that, I mean the AHL. And uh, I've kind of been looking at the lines too. I've been using this thing, which I mean, um, I don't know how I've never used this before. Unfortunately, this guy is really good on the second line, but we just don't have room. Uh, his his uh, line fit there is, is good. But yeah, it, it is what it is. Okay, so um, anyway, Lysel has been moved down. So we have Newhook, Kapari, and Boss as our second line. Lundestrom, Moore, and Olofsson as our third. And then we got Torsten, which is a really cool name, by the way. Uh, McLeod and Franklin Evans. I brought him up because he is number 69, first of all. He's six foot six. He's an absolute unit. And he's medium elite, 80 overall. He was actually 81, but I called him up. And then I guess, you know, the whole thing of, uh, what's it called? Uh, morale kind of kicked in. So, um, look at that though, 96 wrist shot power, this guy's gonna be a stud muffin, yeah, he's gonna be good, so, um, Franklin Evans, welcome to the team, he also has a four and a half star defensive category, which is very good, I like that a lot, defensively, we are still the same, and if we go to our goalies, we got Teal and, well, I was about to say 90, but no, I wish, 80 overall, uh, Joel. So, yeah, this is our team we're going to be running with for this playoff matchup. I do like it. I like it a lot. It seems a lot better without Lysel in the lineup. I'm not going to lie. And speaking of Fabian, he's down here in the AHL. He'll be playing with Tuomo Granlund and Kozinov, who is a medium top six and a low elite, respectively. They are both young also. Well, I mean, Granlund is now 25 and he just really doesn't seem to be panning out. I don't know what it is, but yeah, he's not growing. Even though the AHL team is killing it. But um, hopefully Gustavs does. Uh, Frederick's down here as well now. But yeah, the uh, important thing is that... Actually, can I do that? I sure can. Oh, I might just do that. Because Danielson doesn't seem to be growing either. Guy is hard stuck at 78 overall. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, let's leave that for now. I like him being there. Medium top 9, 72. Might uh, be good for him. Okay, defense still like that. And in net, uh, I put McNaughton in net for the next game. He's probably going to get subbed out, but I made him the quote-unquote starter. So, there you go. It is time for round one against the LA Kings. I'm looking at my LA Kings hat right now. I want to throw it across the room, but I will not do that. I will withhold. Let's do this. So, we do not have home ice advantage. We will be heading to LA. I just realized I did not look at their lines. So, I'm going to do that after this game, but I'm assuming we're going to get a pretty good idea of who's on their team from this game. Unless, you know, we get a stellar performance from Esteban Teal, which can, in fact, be done. Can't count it out, that's for sure. I forget. Do I always do the... Do I do first period, second period, even for this? I think I kind of do, right? And then we just watch the... The uh, third period. Or maybe not. I could be mixing things up here anyway. Uh, I'm going to do this for now. But maybe next game I will do the first second period thing. And then we will just uh, watch the third period live. Alright. We are halfway through the game now. No goals as of yet. Shots are pretty even at the moment. Under five to go in the second. Still nothing. Goose eggs. Oh, never mind. Bouchard's going to put one in. And that will give the Hammerheads a one-goal lead heading into the third period. That's a good way to start. Nice. We are the first team to break the ice there. Okay. 20 shots for the Kings, but boss, Elliot Moose is on the loose yet again. He's going to put one in, give us the world-famous insurance marker. 2 nothing lead. Five minutes to go in this one. LA needs to act fast, and it doesn't look like they're going to do it. Esteban Teal does, in fact, have a stellar first game. So... The only player I know that's on their team is their goalie. Look at that. Beautiful. Esteban and Elliot. Two legends. And then Bouchard there as well. Okay, now I will go check out the LA Kings lines. Uh, let's go to view lines. And let's find the LA Kings. I don't know if it would have been faster to go from the top. Definitely would have been. Whatever. Uh, they got Drewen, Hurdle, and 
Joaquim Kamel. I remember this guy, I think. He was there last year. They got Leclerc, Turcotte, and Brown, so they are definitely competing with us for the best second line in hockey. They had Byfield on the fourth line last year, but now he's on the third line with Byers and Murray Thompson, and then Stapleton, Zari, and Winther. Yeah, our, our offense is better, in my opinion, drastically. Our defense is also a lot better. I am not even going to hear arguments about it. In net, we have a better goalie. We should win this series. There is no reason for us to lose. Which means we're going to. Game number two, which is the, oops, final game before we head back to Houston. Well, not head back, head to Houston for the first time. So let's see how this first period goes. Nice, that's a good start. Miro puts us up 1-0 after one. Shots are pretty even again. Second, okay. They get their first goal on Teal of the series. Stapleton will bury one. And we have a 1-1 tied hockey game heading into period three. But not for long because Elliot Moose is on the loose yet again. And he's going to give the Hammerheads a lead early on there. And he gets the insurance marker once again. That second line is clicking. They are on fire so far in this series. And uh, yeah, I think that's, you know, the, the effects of having no Lysel on the team. Sorry, Fabian. But I think you were, you were bringing the whole team down. I'm just going to blame them. Teal and Boss, one and two again. Lundestrom. As the uh, third star there with two apples. Look at him go. Had a boy, Isaac. Good for you. All right, let's head back to Houston with a commanding 2 0 series lead. And let's see if we can go one step further, perhaps, and get a 3 0 series lead. First period. All right, nothing. No goals. Second, 1 1. So it is once again 1 1 heading into the third period here. And they get one quick. Leclerc. Going to bury one, and they get the insurance marker even quicker. Severson, or Severson, sorry. It's going to bury one, but Franklin Evans, baby! The medium elite fourth line call-up gets a goal, and that brings us back within one. Shots, once again, are pretty equal here. That seems to be the pattern of this series so far, and Graves will get an empty netter to put the nail in the coffin. It is a 4-2 victory for L.A., yeah, Petulny played very good in that one. Kavanov got one and one. Let's go. And Damian Severson got a goal. All right. That's okay. We're still up 2-1. Uh, let's try not to lose both at home, though. Let's go up 3-1 heading back to LA here. All righty. We can do it. First period. Boom. That's a great start. Let's go, lads. Second. Great. I'll take that. I will take that. 2 nothing. heading into the third period. And the Houston Hammerheads could have the LA Kings' backs pinned against the wall if we take home a W here. But Hurdle is going to put one in to cut that lead in half. And we have five minutes to go here. Time is running out. The Kings are putting up some shots. But it's not going to matter. What a performance from Teal yet again. I over-scrolled. Whoops. My bad. Sorry about that. I would have loved to have seen the three stars because you already know who is going to be there. It's going to be Teal, baby. We're in LA with a 3-1 series lead. It is looking mighty fine for Houston right now. First period. Nice. Sergachev. Let's go. Second. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. I thought I saw... I don't know. That looked weird. But anyway, 4-2. What an offensive second period. We get one from Moore, Olofsson, and Rickard. That guy's been doing good for us. And, uh, yeah, they go in from Stapleton and Drew in. Third period of action. We have the infamous insurance marker for us. Uh, oops, I'm not going by times eight. That would help a little bit. Raymond going to get on the board. But Connor Brown will fight right back to cut the lead instantly back to two. 5-3 hockey game now. Oh, no. Turcotte's going to score. And make it a one-goal game. Fontaine is going to score and tie it up with 10 minutes to go in the third period. Wow. Yes, let's go, Elliot Moose. Elliot Moose is on the loose, baby. Of course, that is just, like, it's scripted. That has to be scripted. What a legend. Elliot Moose. Moore getting one and one. Sergachev with one and one. And Drew Ann one and one as well. Yeah, we're getting some depth points here. I love it. I absolutely love it. That third and fourth line. Killing it. Kavanov as well. He's on the second pair. And he is on fire. All right. Let's find out who our second round opponent will be, shall we? Wow. Okay, that means a lot of a lot of teams 
finished before the seventh game. We got the San Jose Sharks. The President's Trophy San Jose winning Sharks, I believe. So, uh, this is this is not our first time facing the President's Trophy winners in the playoffs. Yeah, I think they won it. With 120 points, they had to have. Yep, they did. 57 wins on the year. So, once again, we are going up against the team that won the season. The odds are stacked against us. Is Kavanaugh going up in overall? Because, man, he is lighting it up. Defense, he's still 84, but, yeah, he's doing real good. And uh, Rickard, this guy was doing amazing as well. He's absolutely killing it right now. Um, we had uh, Evans. He's up to 81 now. He's got two points. Nice. No, three points in six games. Uh, we have nothing from Torsten. That's okay, you know. The line is still doing well. Evans is putting up points. So that's all that matters. Okay, Olafsson has two. Lundestrom with two. And Moore with two. Good stuff. Moose is back up to 88. Four goals so far. Mad lad. And Kapari has no points. Attaboy. But it's okay because the line's clicking. So I'm not going to complain. And then that first line is... I don't know what they're doing. We got three points. Five from Barzal, I guess. And then three from Zadina. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. That was a solid round. All right, guys. I will see you in the next video where we take on San Jose. The President's Trophy winners in the conference semifinals.